My name is Treslin Jaya. I'm working with Dream Team Agro Consultancy as a research expert. We are doing a potato project which is funded by Plant Village and, and USAID. This potato project is about the management of soil borne pathogens and diseases. And here we have partnered with the institutions and scientists to establish this project. This is because the problem of nematodes is so common, but usually it is not known by farmers. So we have set this project up so that we can inform farmers of these emerging threats, uh, uh, such as nematodes, and to show them on various management methods to control them. In this project, we are partnering with institutions such as ETA and ISIPE, who did for us soil testing to know the nematodes that existed before. And then after application of these treatments, we are going to also do a soil testing to find out the nematodes that have reduced based on the treatment that we have applied, which have been used as a normal agronomic practice for potato. Also, we have partnered with Safi Organics. So the Safi Organics have provided us with biochar, organic manure, and and also they have provided us with topper. In this project, we are also working with scientists. Um, such scientists include Dr. Serge from Penn State University. We are also working with Dr. Danny and Dr. Solveig from Ita Isipe. We are also collaborating with a nematologist from Michigan State University, Dr. Marisol. We are also working with a soil expert from Moy University, Dr. Rotich, and also a nematologist from Moy University, Dr. Njira. The scientific knowledge and technologies used in this project have been used to disseminate knowledge to the farmers and awareness of soil borne pathogens and diseases uh, through Farmer Field Day that was held in this experimental plot. I'm Victoria Jeptirchir Cheruyot, a research extension officer in Elgeo Marrakech County. In Elgeo Marrakech County, we have two experimental trials, that is in Chepkorio and Kabiemit Ward. Uh, the aim of the trial is to manage the soil borne pests and diseases. We have five treatment plots. Uh, the first treatment plot is bi we used biochar and organic manure. We top dressed using topper and biochar it acts as a soil amender. Uh, the second treatment plot we use inorganic fertilizer plus vellum and we top dressed it using CAN and vellum is a nematicide. In the third we use organic manure and we top dressed it using the topper. In the fourth treatment, we, use, we used lignocellulose, banana pepper, and DAP, and we top dressed it using the CAN. In the fifth treatment, it's the farmer's practice, where we use certified seeds, which the farmers are not accessible to eat in this area. We use the DAP, and we top dressed it using the CAN. Together with my colleague Matthew Correru, who is a research extension officer, we have been collecting data and farmers have been visiting the field to inquire about what we have done and we have been explaining to them. We've been collecting agronomic data and at 42 days after planting, banana paper emerged to be the best in terms of height and stems. And it emerged that aphids is the emerging threat in the potato production. Finally, the yield data will be collected during harvesting. We have been working on the field of the field of the field, the field of the field. But the plant village was to get a project to our village. Then after the project, we have to get the field day. We have to get the field of the field. The problem is not about the bacteria, but it's called nematode. So the nematode we have to eliminate things to avoid organic fertilizer, na banana, banana pepper. Then after field day, most most of our farmers they went home with knowledge that. The wilting of potatoes is not about the bacteria, but the problem is the nematode. Kwa if you tunashukuru plant village, wa metuelimisha, na kwa in that process, wakulima wali kubali kutumia the 
representative of measures and you are the ambiwa at the plant village so going forward our farmers will now produce more now that they have identified the problem is the problem is not just by by using inorganic but also by using inorganic manure and the application of the pelam which they have never heard of so our farmers now will now produce very 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 more productive potatoes